Oh yeah, look at her spin. Yes, yeah, she's pulling in those north winds. That's her finally up there at 30 feet, actually about 33 feet. Uh, she's doing a little bit charging day. The winds just kind of pick it up, it's kind of hit and miss, but didn't manage to get it up this weekend before all this crap hit. Yesterday was 72 degrees. Uh, we were wearing shorts chasing frogs next door at the pond. And today we've got seven inches of snow and another day and a half of this crap. So anyway, there she is up there. Well, just kind of a quick update. I was dying to show it off a little bit. Now, hold on just a sec here. Roll around my house through all this crap. This is ridiculous. First day of spring, and this is what we get. That's what you get when you live in the Midwest. It's over here. Okay. Here it is. Since uh, last posted, I uh, can't really see it too well, but uh, I uh, poured in about 100 plus pounds of concrete, made me a big old block underground, goes down about two feet. Uh, here's some of these pipe fittings here. You really see it. Uh, Sunk in some, some J-bolts and welded some plates to those pipes and got them babies down in there about 15 inches. Uh, used some pipe fittings. Uh, yes, the cord's all wound up because when I put the pipe on and twisted it in position, it wound the cord. So I'll have to, when the weather clears up, backtrack it and uh, unwind the damn thing. But yeah, it'll be fine. Uh, there it goes up right there. I made me handy to handy little bracket with a U-bolt and some square tubing. All that really does is stabilize the center. For when I bring it up, uh, wrecked it up, I can go ahead and lock it in there and then readjust all the wires. But, uh, there she is up there. Uh, about 26 feet. Put my an uh, anemometer and my uh, little thing that tells me the direction of the wind up there so I can get some accurate readings. Uh, got the guy wires are a quarter inch. Uh, they could be plenty strong and uh, other than that she's doing pretty good like I said the wind's kind of hit and miss today but I know it's supposed to come in heavy tonight uh, get around here real quick I'm just going to peek in the window here because I don't have a key it's locked but this is my little greenhouse and right now this is what houses all my components but uh, get a view in here There it is. It's the uh, back it up a little bit. That's a box I got from work. I went ahead and painted it up gray. Put all my goodies inside it. Got it all wired up nice and pretty. Uh, got some gauges from Coleman. Uh, bottom one's the obviously the volts, and the top one is the amps, which is not working because I fried the first one. So I'm gonna make sure I get it right before I hook it up again. But uh, that's it. That's got the rectifier, the diode, uh, the charge controller, the fuses for the dump. Uh, fuses for other things, buzz bars, the whole nine yards. It's all packed in one little tiny box. And instead of using a board, I just just went ahead and wanted to put it in a little tiny box that I secured away from my kids and everything. But uh, that's it. I'll show you guys later. Um, got some pretty good wires running down there. Got it running down into my uh, little scrawny battery bank there. There's about 250 amp hours a piece. So got that and. Uh, with my little dinkies, Antrax, beginners, uh, inverter. So that's about it. It's just kind of a little update. I'm dying to show you. There she's, there she's up there. She's up there, boogieing again. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, sorry, it's kind of crappy out, but. I'll uh, report later. Thanks for watching.